what's up guys today we're going to take a look at how to make warp effects like blubs we're going to cover how to do wave warps how to do turbulent displaces and also how you can make some pinch warps so let's just get right into the video all right so we got our clips ready and in the first clip we're going to make our wave warp so the first thing you want to do is select the clip and then Control alt plus y to create an adjustment layer um then you want to make it kind of like this length maybe we can even stretch it out to the entire clip so let's cut it here and then we basically want to add an effect called the wave warp. All right, and here you want to keep it on sign. You also have other options like circle or um, uncircle, and they just all look different, you know. But we're going to use sign. Um, and then the height, you just want to make it something like this. And then the width, you need to increase it by a lot. So make sure it's like just one big wave. All right, then the next thing, you can see these black lines here at the top and the bottom. So you kind of want to change that. So go to pinning and then all edges. And that basically just fixes it. And then the last thing you want to do is set this one to zero. So the wave speed. And then go to the face. Go to the beginning of your clip. And then here you can animate it. And then you can go to the end. And then here you can just increase it a little like this. Actually by quite a lot, you know. All right. And the last thing you want to do is go to the beginning again. Animate the wave height. And then go to the end. And here you want to set it to zero. So it doesn't have any height. And then you want to press U. So all your keyframes will pop up. You select them all, you press F9, and then you select the one keyframe here and you go to the graph editor. So this one is for our height. Um, and we basically want to make a graph that looks like this. So it's just going um, to just start off really high and then just go fast to a lower value. All right, so now it looks like this. So it's kind of goofy because we didn't animate the face yet. So go to that keyframe and then the graph editor again. And here we can do the exact same thing. So make it fast again and then make it slow down. All right, and here you can even make the graph a little bit like this. So it also ends off with some motion. All right, and then it's just a matter of just tweaking it a lot until it looks good to you. So maybe you want it a little less steep like this. Or maybe you want it really steep like this. And now you can see, you can just kind of see what has the most impact. So for now, let's keep it like this. All right, and the next thing is a turbulent displace. So you want to go to our next clip and then Control Alt plus Y again. And then here you kind of want to just go like a few frames back. So maybe five. And then again, just somewhere around here. Um, now I'm not going to stretch it completely. So just until here is fine. Um, and then obviously what I like to do is select the adjustment layer and then press the asterisk key to make kind of like this marker. Uh, so if you move it or if you copy it, you can just easily find the impact point again, which is really useful. So here, of course, we're going to add a turbulent displace. And then here on the first setting, you can keep it on turbulent. Or you can honestly just try out these other things. Maybe Turbulent Smoother works better. Um, or even like the Twist one. Sometimes this one looks good as well. But for now, we're just going to keep it at Turbulent. Then the next thing is to increase the amount a little. And then the size, you want to decrease it. So don't make it too big because that will look bad. But also don't make it too small. But also don't make it too small because then you'll create this kind of like heat wave effect. But talking about heat wave, there's this tournament in my server. And I'm hosting it with like another dude. And it's basically a tournament where you can showcase your best editing skills in a kind of like a summer style vibe. The first place gets 40 euros. The second place gets 10 euros. And then the third place gets a Discord Nitro. So definitely make sure to check it out. So just go down to the description and join my Discord server. All right. So now we can continue with the tutorial. Um, we want to set it kind of like this. So not too big, not too small. And then we want to animate two values. So the first one is amount. So we want to set it on the impact point and then animate the amount. And then go to the beginning, set it to zero. And then the end and set it to zero again. Then you can press U, select them all, F9. And then um, go to the graph editor. And I just want to make a graph that looks like this. So in the beginning, we don't want to see much of it because it's still the previous clip. But we slowly want to fade it in. And then here, you want to make a graph that looks like this. So it kind of slowly disappears. And now we can't see much of it. It's actually there, but uh, the way we're going to make it even more visible is to change the evolution. So go to the very beginning, animate the evolution, and then let's press U again uh, and again to see that keyframe. And now you want to go to the end. And here we can just increase it like this maybe. And now as you can see, it actually moves around a little, especially in his hand. You can really see it clearly. That's really clean. Now I like it like this. But you can animate it as well in like this slow, fast, slow manner. Uh, so you just need to add a keyframe here and then increase it a little bit. And then go to the last frame and increase it a little bit too. 
And now you can just select them all, F9, go to the graph editor. And then here you can basically just make a graph that looks like this. So it's kind of like the opposite of uh, the usual graph you would do. So now it goes slow, then fast, and then slow again. So this can also create a lot of impact, honestly. I honestly like it more than the previous one, so we'll keep it like this. So that's really just how you make your turbulent displaces. There's nothing much more to it. So yeah, let's move on to the pinch warp. This one is the last one. And basically, exact same thing. You want to hold Control alt plus y Then we can go 5 frames back again and cut it here. And then let's just make it like this. All right, and then here you want to add effect warp. So just warp, not wave warp. And then we're going to make a marker again, obviously. Then here we have a lot of options. You can honestly try them out if you want. They're pretty interesting, but we're going for fisheye because this is what's going to give us the pinch effect. Or you can bulge it if you um, increase the value. Let's set it to something like minus 80 and then animate it. Then go to the beginning, set it to zero, and then go to the end and set it to zero again. And then here you can press U, select all the keyframes, F9, go to the graph editor. It's basically always the same, you know. And now you make a graph like this. So on the previous clip, you don't want to show much of it, but here you actually do want to show some of it. So as you can see, if you drag it more to the left, you can see more of the pinch, which can look interesting because it kind of creates this like build up and that's really important for impact. And then here you just want to fade it out like this. Yeah, you just got to see what looks good. Also, sometimes depends on the clips like this one, it zooms out. So uh, sometimes you can't see the pinch very well. So you might want to decrease it very fast like this, but you can also decrease it a little slower like this, which looks a little bit better on this clip. You can also go completely crazy and just move it up like this. So now what it'll do is basically pinch it outwards, even with like a little bit of a bulge. So here it kind of like increases the value and then it goes back to the normal state. So now it gives this kind of like bounce effect. And that looks pretty good on this clip. Again, you can see it very well, uh, but with other clips, it will definitely be more clear. As you can see on the previous clip as well, you can see it fade in, uh, which looks pretty good. All right, so this is how you make the wave warps like blobs. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. All right, bye-bye.